So come into your mountain pose, feet hip width apart. We'll do a quick warm up. And then we're going to do quite a few different things today. So be prepared for a little variety. So feet straight ahead, knees toward your toes and, the, and align ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders. Ribs in and up, shoulders relaxing down and crown to the ceiling. Focus inward. Remember, personal practice, full deep breaths. Now you're moving out as you use your full your lung capacity. Exhale and release it all. And bring your focus to your yoga frame of reference, just keeping it internal as we work. So inhaling, bring your arms up to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your chest, open your heart. Stretch forward, shoulders down. And then hands behind you as you exhale and clasp your fingers. Inhale, lifting your heart, stretch your head back. Exhale, pivot over. And just get that forward bend going to stretch your lower back and your spine. Deep breaths, top of the head coming toward the floor, maybe a little bit more. Hands up toward the ceiling for your shoulders. And then knees a little bent, chin in. Lift your ribs and drop your sitting bones as you wind your way up. See if you can feel that spine unwind. And stretch your crown back and your chest up toward the ceiling as you press your hands toward the floor. Nice backward bend in that upper body. And then inhale to the top. Release your arms. And just take a moment to scan through your body, feeling your spine and your breath. And again, inhaling, up reaching wide, hands to your heart, elbows back, stretch forward, keep those arms and shoulders even, and hands behind you, clasping the fingers the opposite way, shifting one position over. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, and again, pivot at your hips, coming into your forward bend. Lengthen through the spine, tipping forward as much as your head wants to go. Hands coming toward your head. And then again, when you're ready, slowly wind your way to the top. Lift your heart as you get all the way up. Stretch your spine open. Relax your shoulders down. And on an inhalation, come back upright and release. So take a moment feeling how your spine is, noticing how your body's working this morning. And we'll do our side stretches. So arms out to the sides, palms toward the ceiling and over the shoulder. Hands passed and clasped, arms back by your ears. Pull your shoulder blades down, sitting bones down, crown high, and lean over the side without twisting. So just keep the top shoulder back a little bit. And then inhale back up, switch hands around, exhale, releasing sitting bones and shoulder blades down, inhale up through the crown, exhale into that other side. And again, lengthen as much as you feel good, push your foot, you're leaning away from down, breathe into those ribs on the side you stretch. And again, inhaling, come back upright, exhale, and release. Feel your sides as well as your spine, getting a little bit more energized. And we'll do a quick twist to get that spine really working. Arms out, shoulder level, palms to the ceiling, and over your shoulder. Clasp your elbows, pull them back along your ears. Sitting bones and shoulder blades down, crown reaching up. Get that spine open for the twist and turn your whole body looking one direction. Lengthen up, breathing in, and in that twist, go ahead and pivot over into a forward bend. And just feel that super stretch through your hip area, through your back. I'm going to be focusing a little bit on the hips today, so just kind of be aware of that part of your body. And then on an inhalation, slowly work your way back up. Lift your chest, pull your elbows back, Come into that upper body again for the back bend. And inhale to the top. 
Exhale to the center, switch your arms around, and again, realign, sitting bones and shoulder blades down, crown reaching up, breathing in, and turning the other direction for the opposite twist. Lengthen breathing in, and pivot over on the exhalation. And come all the way down into that forward bend as far as your body likes on this side. Always checking to see if your weight is still on both feet evenly. Breathing deeply, just relaxing as much as your body needs. And slowly working your way back up to the twist. Look toward the ceiling, pull your crown and elbows back, and lift your heart. Upper body back bend, gentle on your low back. And then inhale upright, exhale to the center. Bring your arms up. And this time we're going to bend the elbows straight out to the side with the palms facing each other into goddess position. So sitting bones are down, shoulder blades are down, your whole body is straight. Take a moment there. And then exhaling, just sweep down into ragdoll and take a moment to breathe. Sitting bones lift for that back of your legs stretch. Exhale and deepen. You can keep your knees a little bent if you need to. Slide your hands up on your shins right under your knees. Press the palms in. Pull the chest forward. Chin a little bit forward, but keep the back of the neck nice and straight so the crown is really reaching away from the sitting bone. And then exhaling. Again, drop into ragdoll. Palms together, inhaling, and come back up to standing. Palms at your heart. And then at your side into mountain pose. Just take a moment again, scan through your body, feel your spine, notice your hips and pelvis. We're gonna work them a little bit. So turn your feet just a teeny bit out. So your knees are going the direction of your toes. So you're turning that whole leg area from the top of your thigh all the way down to your feet opening. <coughs> and we're going to do a little pelvic tilt. So bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. Hands above your knees, positioning, not supporting. We've done this before. So push your hips back, sitting bones back, and your chest forward. So a little back bending, focusing here in the hips and pelvis. And then the sitting bones come down and forward as the ribs come back, and rounding your shoulders a little bit forward as well. So just a couple times through that range of motion to get that hip and pelvic area working a little bit more. Just rounding your spine, feeling the breath filling as you inhale into the back bend, exhaling into that forward bend as you compress the lungs, letting all that excess toxic energy out. And then as you come back to that forward bend, just pause a moment and inhale and stand back up into mountain pose. So feel through that hip and pelvic area a little bit more energy there. So we're going to step a little wider and have your feet angle just a little bit out again. And this time you can be a little bit wider in your stance, <coughs> excuse me, than you were in the forward in the pelvic tilt. And again, we're going to be bending the knees toward the toes, and we're going to be sinking straight down. This one's called horse. So you want to keep your spine upright, and you're going to feel it a little bit more through the hips and pelvis. So if as you sink down, you find you're bending forward or rounding at your spine, you can go near the wall and use the wall for a guide so that you're keeping your back straight up and down as you sink into that kind of, what is it, canter position, coming up and down with your sitting bones straight to the floor. So you want to be as upright as you can as if you're riding that horse. And you can have your hands on your legs or on your waist or holding your reins, whatever feels good for you. So just be gentle on your knees if you have knee issues. And of course, never bend them beyond your toes. And then coming back to standing, just take a moment back in mountain pose, kind of focus on that hip energy. And we're going to add to that 
Got it. So again, stepping a little bit wide, toes angled out, rotating from your hips, opening at the thighs, and sinking into your horse position with your spine straight. We're going to bring the arms out, turn the palms up, bend your elbows with the palms toward each other, and sink. And then as you inhale, we're going to bring the arms up overhead, straightening your knees. And then exhaling down into that galloping goddess. Inhaling up, hands together, legs straight. Exhaling, sinks the sitting bones straight down, spine straight, elbows at shoulder level, palms facing each other. And inhale up, exhale, galloping goddess. Inhaling. And exhaling. And of course, you can do it faster or slower, whatever works for your body. So hold it there as you come into that gallop of the goddess. Just staying in your position. Feel your legs, maybe your arms a little bit more. Really sink into those feet evenly. So base of the toes all the way across, heels evenly on both feet. And then one more inhale up. Exhale and release back into mountain pose. Take a moment again, just noticing how your body is responding this morning. Deep breath in, exhaling. And then inhale, bring your arms up, pivot forward. Swan dive forward, push those sitting bones back, keep the arms flat to the floor, and the body as flat and straight as you can coming into that pivot. And then swoop down, swing your arms, bring them back out, re-flatten with your back parallel to the floor, and inhale back up, and reach for the stars, and back, hands to your heart and release again and then we've done this one before i think step with your feet just a little wide again opening at the hips with those toes going out and we're going to do that churning frog so we're going to start with the hands on the legs just above your knees and then pushing the sitting bones back bringing your hands down toward the floor and then coming back up into that starting position. And then exhaling hands to the floor. And then this time as you inhale up, straighten your knees and bring your hands to your hips. And then again, exhaling. You can bring your hands to your knees and stay there or again, all the way to the mat. And then standing up as you inhale, knees straightening. So a few times just jumping like your frog. Going down and standing up. Exhaling and inhaling. Bending your knees, coming down, inhaling and straightening. And you can do it faster like the Kundalini people do, or you can do it slowly as you pay attention to what your body is doing. So inhaling up, exhaling down, kind of begin emphasizing that breath as you go through your range of motion. As you stand up with those hands on your hips, bring those elbows back for a little more chest expansion. And make sure you're not really collapsing those shoulders forward as you go down. So just kind of a straight body going down. And then the next time you come up, just pause at the top, turn your feet back into mountain pose, and release your arms. So a little more circulation, a little more energy flowing through, again, the pelvis. We're focusing on those hips today a little bit more. And then one more standing thing. And if you want to use your chair, we're going to do a balance practice. This one's an easy one. So you probably don't need a chair if you're fairly comfortable with your balance. But if you want to just be comfortable at a significant level you can have that chair next to you 
So the side of your foot parallel to the side of your mat or the chair. And if you've got a really cushiony mat, you might want to step off onto the floor as well. So lift your toes, get the base of the toes connected and the heel all the way across. Spread the toes out as you put them back down. Big toe mostly connected, the other toes just spreading to the sides. And then you can keep your hand on the chair or at your side. And we're going to make sure the ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder are aligned up, crown to the ceiling. And you've got that leg turned slightly inward with that internal rotation to get that side of your foot parallel to the chair or the mat. And then sinking down into your grounded foot, the one by the chair if you're using the chair, turn the other foot perpendicular. So the heel comes in toward the arch and the knee goes out in the same direction as your toes with those hips both open, facing the front. And then we're going to do stork position, which is kind of a precursor to tree. So slide your heel up just above your ankle bone with your toes barely touching the floor. So this is a basic balance posture. You can keep your toes down or you can slide it up until your toes are also against the side of your leg. And then you can either bring your hands to prayer or again out, palms up and into goddess. And then releasing your hands, turn the knee forward first and put the foot back to the chair, to the floor and turn your chair to the opposite side if you're using a chair. <laughs> so take a moment, find your body again in mountain pose. Foot parallel to the chair or the side of your mat so that you've got that inner rotation to stack everything effectively for your support. Lift the toes, put them down as spreading out rather than gripping. If you grip that face of your toes comes up, it's not as effective. Get the heel down on the inside and outside. The arch is lifting that whole leg, supporting your ankle, knee, hip, right up through the shoulder. And again, turning that whole leg 90 degrees, pulling the heel in toward your arch, and knee going straight out to the side as much as possible. So notice your hips are nice and open. Slide that heel up just above your ankle bone. Stay there with your toes down, or slide it up a little bit more, getting that knee going out and back as much as you can. And again, hands to your heart if you prefer, or bring them out. Palms up, bending at the elbows, pulling the elbows slightly back into that upper body goddess. Breathe. Feel your stork. And then arms out and down, back to your heart, knee to the front, foot to the floor, and back into mountain pose. And we're done with the chair if you've been using your chair. So take a moment in mountain pose just to center and ground. Hands to your heart. Looking at them, inhale up. Pull the elbows slight or the thumbs slightly back, elbows straight as you lift your heart further towards the ceiling. And then exhaling, follow your thumbs, follow your hands as you pivot into ragdoll. And again, slide your hands up. Flatten your back, get everything nice and straight. And bending your knees, we're going to come all the way to the floor into child's pose for our transition. So just hips on your heels, hands, palms up at your feet, and forehead coming toward the floor. Just give yourself time for your transition, make your adjustments, and make sure that everything is relaxed into your child's pose. Pad under your ankles, between your heels and hips, calves and thighs, or under your forehead. Separate your knees if you need room to breathe, or pull them together and get a good stretch through that lower back. And then inhaling, sit up, bring your legs out in front. I'm going to turn to face you into staff position. So as you come into staff, just kind of move around on those sitting bones to make sure they're evenly situated. Heels press out and toes back with the knees and toes straight up. And 
stacking hips and shoulders up through the crown, keeping that spine nice and straight and elongated. Hands can be at your sides or on your thighs. Keep lengthening up through the crown. Breathe deep. And then we're going to work the hips a little bit more. So go ahead and bring the bottoms of your feet together, heels pulling in, and knees out to the side, coming into butterfly position. So depending on how tight your hips are, and we don't have time to do a lot of hip warm-ups, so they may be tight because it's always that way when we start yoga practice. So don't worry if those knees are up. If it's uncomfortable, you can put padding under your knees for a little bit of support. And then just allow the spine to be straight, sitting bones both evenly connected, crown reaching up. And you can clasp with your two index and middle fingers around your big toe and the thumb coming over that and get a good hold on your thumbs and keep pulling those heels a little closer in if that works for you. And then again, make sure that those sitting bones are evenly connected, hips and shoulders lined up, crown reaching high. Take a few breaths. Just relaxing, letting those knees come toward the floor. And then bring one hand behind you, close to your body on the floor. Your fingertips can uh, reach away from your body. And then the other one. And just press gently into your fingertips or your hands and lift your heart a little bit more. And that usually will release those inner thighs a little bit more coming down toward the mat with their knees. Chest forward and up. Crown toward the ceiling, and just allow those legs to relax down toward the mat. Take a few breaths. Think about letting the bottoms of your feet go toward the ceiling if it's feeling a little tight in your knees. And then releasing your hands back to the center. We're going to slide the feet out just a little bit. Bring your hands under, bend forward, put your tops of your hands on the tops of your feet. And then just let the knees come toward the floor a little bit more as you slide your chest and chin forward toward your toes. So keep your back as straight and flat as you can in this position. The idea is not to bend your forehead down toward your feet. It's just to let you pivot at the hips. And then sliding back up, releasing your feet, come back into butterfly, pulling those heels in one more time, knees down toward the mat. And then we're going to lift the knees toward each other and return into staff position. So take a moment, feeling that connection down into your sitting bones, out through the base of your feet, up through the crown. And just take a moment there and staff, either hands on your legs or at your sides in the official position, elbows pulling in. And take a moment to breathe. We're going to go up onto our knees. So if you have delicate knees and you want a little extra padding, you can Fold over your mat once or twice under your knees, and we're going to come up into kneeling position. If you have a pad, you can also use your pad. So sitting bones down toward the floor, chest nice and open, shoulders relaxing, and your whole body just sinking into your connected knees. Feet either straight back or a little bit toward each other. We're going to take the heels of the palms right at your shoulder blades in the back and then rotate your elbows toward each other and allow your chest to open. So supporting that lower back, crown toward the ceiling, chest forward and up, and elbows rotating in toward each other, getting a good chest expansion. This is a supported version of camel. And then if you want to, we can go a little bit further into camel. So 
reach your hand back and see if you can find the heel behind you. If that heel is too low and you need to raise it, tuck your toes under and just let that heart open toward the front. And then bring that hand back on your back. If your toes were down, slide them further back. Again, elbows toward each other. And then the other side, either toes down or feet flat, reach back for that opposite heel. Try to keep both hips facing the front, both shoulders kind of even with each other. And then again, hands back to that lower back. Chest forward and up, rotate those elbows even closer. And then sink your hips toward your heels and come into child's pose. Hands at your side, forehead toward the mat. And just give yourself a good forward bend stretch where we were going into the back bend. Take a few breaths, just relax. And then sitting up on your heels, we're going to do an earth salute for Earth Day. So this one is a kind of range of motion. And we're going to start by scooping up the earth and raising it up as you come up onto your, into your kneeling position, looking at your hands and up to the sky. And then kind of goddess position, opening out, embracing the earth as you sink back down. And again, scooping the earth with your hands, raising it up, praising it to the sun and the sky. Coming into goddess position, opening the heart, embracing the earth as you sink back down. And again, scooping it up, following it high. Elbows bending, coming into goddess, appreciating and surrounding the earth, coming back down. And again, scooping it up. This time as you get all the way up, hold it there. Looking up. So mental yoga, really focusing on how much you appreciate the earth that we stand on each day that supports us every day. And again, the goddess position, opening your heart to the earth, embracing it, bringing your arms forward, rounding around that earth sphere, and coming down into child's pose, sinking into Mother Earth. And just take a moment there to pause. And you can bring your four, your arm forward into this pose and forehead on the mat. Hips toward your heels, arms toward the earth. Maybe get some flowing into And then inhaling and sitting up on your heels, come back into staff position and readjust. So take a moment feeling your body, sinking into this earth beneath you with the sitting bones up through the crown, breathing, relaxing. And we're going to bring the feet to the end of the mat and roll onto our backs, getting ready for a twist position to align and balance our energy. So bringing your arms out to the sides, palms up. Press your back down through that lower back, bend your knees, bring them in toward your heels, heels toward your hips. And slide the sitting bones toward the heels. Backs against the floor. Bring your heels up, knees above your hips. And we're just going to, again, roll the knees to one side, turning your head to the opposite side. 
relaxing into your regular twist position. Pad under your knees if you need to, or just bring your toes to the floor for support if you want to. Or if you like that lower back getting extra stretch, you can pull those knees up toward your elbows. Lower back getting a little bit more work. Shoulders and shoulder blades down. Get that middle back getting a good twist. And head turning, upper back, neck and shoulder area. Gentle where you need to be. Personal practice. Do what's right for your body. When you're ready to release that, heels toward your hips and roll onto your back. You can keep those feet up off the floor or bring them down for a moment as you notice your energy along your spine. Maybe up into your head to activate your meditative energy. And again, hands, palms up or down, your choice as you roll the knees to the opposite side. Head turned toward that arm behind you. And again, knees to the floor as much as they want or toward your elbow if you like the extra stretch in the lower back. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, head turning, just relaxing, allowing the twist to happen, never forcing it, letting the breath guide you, maybe deepening the exhalation. And just allow everything to release into your twist on this side. And again, whenever you're ready to release, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, bring the feet to the floor. And then we're going to bring the hands next to your hips, palms down, shoulders and shoulder blades to the mat. We're going to go up into a little inversion, a bridge position. So as you're in this position, again, lengthen those sitting bones down toward your heels, getting your back connected down to the floor. Exhale, belly, navel toward the mat. And then as you inhale, lift your hip bones. Keep those heels right under your knees and raise up into your bridge coming onto your shoulder blades. Stay here if this is enough for you. Go back exhaling down to the floor if you need to. Or otherwise, clasp your hands underneath. Press the sides of your hands into the mat arms and hands into the mat and work up onto the tops of your shoulders more, lifting your hips. So you're coming onto the back of your head and your shoulders, not your neck. And hips lift toward the ceiling. And then release your hands, release your shoulders, shoulder blades down, ribs down, whole spine back to the mat and just relax. And again, keeping those heels right next to your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor, knees straight up, not out to the sides. One more bridge position. Hands, palms down, back to the mat. Inhaling, lift the hips, rise up into your bridge. Stay there, or if you clasp your hands before, clasp them the other way, opposite finger on the outside. And again, pressing the hands and arms and shoulders into the floor. Work up onto the tops of your shoulders. Lift your hips, coming into your bridge. And again, back of the head is on the mat, not your neck. Take a breath. Lift your hips maybe a little further. Hands, palms down. Shoulders release. Shoulder blades down. Ribs down. Spine connecting. And relax. And extend your legs out. Keep your hands, palms down next to your sides. And then bring your thumbs and palms to the floor under your hips. Pull your elbows way into your sides by your ribs. And then press your hands, forearms, and elbows into the floor. And raise your whole upper body up as far as it wants to go. Lift your heart and chest to the ceiling. And look toward the wall behind you, dropping the top of your head either toward the floor or all the way down to the floor. Fish position. Open your heart. Open your chest. And then chin back toward your chest and roll your spine back down to the mat. Release your hands, palms up. Relax your body down. 
And we're going to go into our relaxation position in goddess if you want to, or stay here in corpse position and just relax. So bottoms of your feet together, knees out toward the sides. If this gets too much, you can slide your feet out or go back to the regular legs straight out position. And then bring your arms out to the sides, palms up. Bend your elbows with the palms up toward the ceiling. So you want your elbows at shoulder level and the hands are right above your elbows coming into goddess. And then lift your heart maybe a little bit further up toward the ceiling as you're in this reclined goddess position. And then take a few breaths. Exhaling, just relaxing, letting your goddess sink into the earth. Breathing and relaxing. Just notice where in your body it feels tight. Maybe those hips and pelvis area. Maybe the legs. Maybe the shoulders. Whatever it is, just release. Exhaling tension. And allow your body to keep dropping further into that earth embrace. Deep breath. Just relaxing. Letting Mother Earth support you as she does every day. Body releasing. Just let your mind drift like your breath in and out without attention to the content. Just allowing your yoga practice and your appreciation of Mother Earth to be your focus. Growing your, in your body Filling your being with unity and peace. And of course, if you can, just go ahead and continue your relaxation, breathing deep, appreciating the peace in unity with our Earth Mother. If you need to release, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to your body, back to the room, back to the moment. And begin breathing more deeply, moving your body gently. If you're in God's position, just lift those knees toward the ceiling, press your back down, and draw your knees toward your heart. Give yourself that appreciative hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and every day. And as you appreciate your body, appreciate our Earth Mother as well. And when you're ready to release, just exhaling, release the embrace, roll to your side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever your day holds ahead. And since it's Earth Day, go ahead and honor your Earth Mother a little bit more today. Do something to clean her up, perhaps, and allow your awareness to be every day with Mother Earth, because we need to take better care of her always. Thanks for joining me.